Well, good morning. Welcome to Tech Talks at Tech in New Zealand 2013. Um, I'm Ryan Croco. I work for Microsoft as a technical evangelist on Windows Azure. And joining me today is Ming-Fei Yang. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Ming-Fei, and uh, I work in Windows Azure Media Services as a program manager. Cool. So great to have you in New Zealand. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me here. This is my very first time in Auckland. This is great. The city is lovely. It's really good to have you down here. So Mingfei, Media Online. Tell me about Media Online. Why is it important? Why do, why do people care? I thought being online is just you know, to check your email and, and read the news. So what's this media thing? Don't you watch any video online now? Any sports game you love? <laughs> I believe all of us do, right? Uh, video. I mean, we, we were just watching America's Cup racing just before this, this interview started. So yeah, that exactly. was online, I guess. Yeah. Yep. So we would say video has been changing really rapidly over the recent years. You may not even pay attention that the quality of the video used to be you know, so bad, the resolution is so low, but now everyone is watching like you know, HD content online on streaming. And uh, consumer no longer only use um, TV to watch content. Now you can pretty much watch content anytime, anywhere you want. Yeah, it's pretty awesome that you know, on, on, on the bus ride into work, I can sit with my, you know, my, my, my Windows phone and I can actually stream um, live sport events on, yeah, on, on exactly. the bus. I mean, that's yep. phenomenal. Yep. So, so what does it do in terms of, 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 of kind of you know, the, the bandwidth, you know, what kind of bandwidth is, 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 is all this HD content um, consuming? Um, I would say a lot of times as content provider, you have to go where uh, your audience goes, right? Like if they're on 3G, 4G, you know, home broadband, you have to be able to, you know, supply the right resolution. If you're going to stream a 10 megabytes per second video onto the mobile phone, that's never going to hold up. And that's why you have to, you know, be prepared for all the condition that your consumer is going to have. And you are going to have the right, um, you know, the, the application to really provide them a great video experience. Yeah. And, and so tell me, as a, as, a, as a content provider, you know, if I wanted to go and, and, and produce video today, you know, I, I've got, you know, my, 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 my video blog about me gardening or, or whatever it is, and I uh -huh. want to stream that, you know, in high definition. Uh -huh. as, as a content provider, what are some of the challenges for me? Can I just, you know, package up my video and stream it kind of to all devices? Can everybody see it or do I have to do uh, different things? Yeah, that's a very good question because uh, we all know the fragmentation in video space is like horrible, right? Um, majority of the video are still uh, streamed online through web, but 99% uh, of them use some form of uh, plugin like Flash or Superlight. However, as we know, uh, when um, you know moving into a lot of new browser, plugin sort of shines away. And especially for mobile, there's no plugin allowed usually. Yeah. And that was where you know you have to, if you think about building a native application, that's pretty much a lot of different language as well. It's very uh, costly to do that. And also, uh, you know, smooth streaming is always preferred on a lot of Microsoft platforms such as Windows and uh, Xbox. But uh, HLS is only onto Apple platform, and also HDS is preferred by cli uh, Flash client. Therefore, you know you may have to package your content onto all these different adaptive streaming format to be able to you know get onto all kinds of platform. So that's certainly, I guess, a lot for content provider to think about. So, so, yeah. so this is. I mean, it's the same as as, as the the argument so many years ago of VHS versus Betamax. And, and you know when, when we had video cassette recorders, uh, you know are we still in the world where where we don't have um, a standard? You know is it really that difficult? And, and, and why can't content and, and why can't the, the the platforms agree on a standard? Uh, I would say when adaptive streaming just born, uh, the industry hasn't you know industry standard is always lagging behind that it takes years to develop and Microsoft, Apple and Adobe sort of went ahead to develop uh, adaptive streaming format. And uh, however, this year we have a great uh, standard coming along which is NPAD Dash, which is the very first uh, international standard for adaptive streaming. And we have seen a lot of great momentum for adopting uh, NPAD Dash, such as uh, uh, IE11. 
uh, the very uh, exciting announcement in Build Conference that I11 starts to support um, uh, MPEG Dash playback with DRM through Dash JS player. That's so great. So that was really, really uh, yeah. exciting. Yeah. So that's good to see that that momentum is is, is going towards um, some kind of a standard, and 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 hopefully that'll make life easier for for, for everybody else, right? So what is your team doing at, at, at Windows Azure Media Services to, to make life easier for the content providers, for the platforms, for the users? Uh, Windows Azure Media Services is a uh, platform that enables people to deliver video uh, and demand uh, content or live content through public cloud. And uh, what we do is we provide APIs for developers to easily build very uh, highly customizable media workflow. So we try to be format agnostic, DRM agnostic, as well as format, uh, protocol agnostic, which means uh, we would support pretty much all the adaptive streaming uh, formats out there, such as Smooth, MPEG Dash, HLS, HDS. And at the same time, uh, we really simplify the whole process because we know Media, you know, when you stream a video, um, the reliability of the stream, the durability of the stream is, is, is really important. So we want to handle those scaling up, scaling down, you know, we, we build all that, those complexity into the platform so that you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about video licensing issue. You don't need to worry about, you know, uh, when you store the video, is that safely stored? We want to take care of all that for you. So as a content provider, you just focus on your content to be able to you know, select the right content to your audience. And at the same time, we also provide a spectrum of client SDK so that if you want to build an app on Windows 8 or on Xbox, you know, just get started. We have all the starter kit for you to quickly uh, say consume smooth streaming with and you, don't, and you don't just support the Windows platforms, right? You've got SDKs for Android, for iPhone, for HTML5, for, yes. for, for a bunch of different platforms. Yes, so. we are, you know, because as I said, you have to go where your consumer goes and that's why we don't want to be that's awesome. close. You know, so while the studios and the content providers and the technology companies are all kind of infighting, trying to decide, you know, is Betamax <laughs> better than VHS? You know, Microsoft with the, with, the, with the Windows Azure Media Services team, we're playing the kind of, you know, the good guys and saying, well, you know, it doesn't matter what platform, what content, what protocol, use us and, and, and you can get your content out there. Yep. That's and awesome. also, uh, you know, we, as you know, probably we uh, onboard a lot of partners. So if you want to use Microsoft Encoder, you can use us. But we also bring in partners such as uh, Dolby Digital or um, Digital Rapid. That if you want to use their media processor, um, you know, feel free to do so. And we provide a unified platform to allow you to assess their uh, processor as well. That's awesome. Yeah. So thank, thanks for the chat. Um, you know. We've got to rush back downstairs so that we can catch the end of the America's Cup streaming live. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> so, so that was great. Thank you for, 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 for your time today. Yeah, thank you. Cool.